Well, Kevin Doyle is here with us now. I mean, when we hear the music and when we see those scenes, we completely miss it. I mean, will it always be something you're fond of, or was it quite different being in it? Uh, yeah. For actors on the whole, um, they like to move on after a short while. I don't think, and certainly we're not used to playing a part for something like six years, certainly not on television. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it was quite nice to, to move on. We all felt it was time to move on. Is it difficult, though, when you've been working with people in, in such close proximity like that for so long? And I suppose also had that, that character for so long as well. Is it, is it not hard to say goodbye to that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to say goodbye to, to the cast and the crew. It was really emotional when we, when we, when we stopped. It was... Um, we all wept buckets, I'm oh, afraid. Yes. I bet. We did too. Didn't yeah, we? we did too. We did too. <laughs> yeah. It was a huge, huge thing. But then I guess you think, wow, okay, something massive has come to an end, but what next? Yes, well, I we finished on the Friday and I started this on the Monday, Happy Valley on the Monday. So it was, uh, it was quite a, a mental rejigging uh, was required. So it was, yeah, it was tough. It was, yeah, but. Um, it was great to move on to something completely different. And this is very different because so you play Detective Sergeant John Wadsworth and, and just to explain if people haven't seen it, I mean, well, you can, you can bring us up to date with what happens, but he gets himself in a bit of a sticky situation, doesn't he? He does, yes. Uh, he's having a, a bit of a fling and um, it all begins to go rather pear-shaped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got a clip of you in action, so let's have a little look. Light left on in the bathroom again. His bedroom light on, her bedroom light on. I'm not up there. You're not up there now. Who's left there? So what? I can't find my calculator. So, don't pour so much cereal if you're not going to eat it. It's all to pay for. I don't grow on trees. You need to calm down. I do not need to calm down. Oh dear, and he's yeah, he's not looking very happy there, is he? A little bit stressed. No, no. But we see you there with, uh, of course, Coronation Street's Julie Hesman House. What was it like working? Oh, with it's her? a joy, absolute joy. <laughs> uh, she was only on it for a few days, but uh, the great thing about Sally's writing is she gets um, she writes beautifully for women, and uh, and so uh, I, I've worked on several of her shows on at home with the Braithwaite and Scott and Bailey, and now this, and it's always. Uh, it's always full of really um, fascinating, flawed, strong, uh, complicated women, and it's uh, it was a, you know, and Julie just kind of you know knocks it out of the park. Absolutely. But, and as a Mr. Mosley, of course, you um, you were very hesitant with women and very you know nervous around them, but you've actually been a bit saucy. <laughs> way, <haven't you>? um, <laughs> well, sort of 1920s saucy. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's sort of. Yeah, bless him. I, I love I loved Mr. Molesley uh, because he's had to live with so much disappointment in his life. Mm. And finally, at the end, we sort of see a flicker of uh, the possibilities of something other. And it was, um, it was lovely. Yeah. And one thing we must talk about, actually, because when you finished filming Happy Valley, it was uh, just before mm. the flooding happened, wasn't it, in mm. that area? And I know we've got a picture, actually, haven't we, that, um, mm. that you took or was taken there. So that's, t just talk us through that's, what that's showing there. That's the studio, the building, and that's the River Calder, and that's on Boxing Day. And um, we'd finished filming, I think, the week before. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, three, four foot underwater, and those were the props vans in front of the building there. So, you know, completely ruined. I mean, it, had it been a week earlier, you know, we'd have had to stop filming. And, um, but throughout the valley, uh, you know, all the locations that we'd used in Hebden mm. Bridge and Solby Bridge, you know, flooded the police station that we were using, three foot underwater. So, you know, oh, it's, it's devastating. And, Miserable uh, for people yeah, living there, yeah. isn't it? Oh, you know, it's horrible. fine if, you, if it's a film set, but you know, yeah, for your Yeah, it was life. lovely in as much as we were able to read productions very kindly uh, got together a screening and we um, uh, for the, the locals and we raised 30,000 pounds to sort of for right. the flood relief and oh, government really are going to match that which is which is lovely as well. Yeah. So. Brilliant. Awesome. Well listen the next installment of Happy Valley tonight I'm suspecting it's not going to be plain sailing for Detective Solid John Wadsworth am I right with that one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can see it at oh. 9 o'clock. He's saying nothing right now. Good to chat to you this he morning. He has got himself in a pickle. It's not going to be easy to get out of. That much I can predict. But listen, he really is not saying not. anything. You're going to get... Even Charlotte can't get anything out of it. <laughs> That's how tight-lipped he is. Nice to chat to you, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, here's Laura with a look at the weather from Kevin.